Mako and Mina were the best of friends, always looking for new adventures in their small Malaysian village. One sunny morning, they found a crinkled old map stuck in the branches of the mango tree in Mako's backyard. The map was dotted with colorful pictures and winding paths, but it had no name or destination. Mako's eyes sparkled with curiosity, and Mina's heart thumped with excitement. They decided to follow the map and see where it would lead them. As they set out on their journey, the first stop on the map was a tall hill that overlooked the village. Climbing up was tough, and the hill was steeper than it looked. Mako slipped on the loose soil, but caught himself quickly. Mina reached out a hand to help him up, and together they reached the top. They felt like mighty explorers surveying their kingdom, and the view was breathtaking. The next clue on the map led them to a dense bamboo forest. The bamboo stalks were like green giants standing guard. Mako and Mina had to be careful not to get lost. They tied a piece of Mina's overalls to the bamboo at the entrance as a marker. As they ventured deeper, the sunlight struggled to peek through the leaves, casting a maze of shadows on the ground. Suddenly, Mako and Mina stumbled upon a stream that wasn't on their map. The water gurgled cheerfully, but there was no bridge in sight. Mako frowned, scratching his head, while Mina tapped her chin thoughtfully. They spotted some large, flat stones near the bank. With a burst of teamwork, they carefully placed the stones across the stream, creating a path to hop across. After crossing the stream, they found themselves in a clearing with wildflowers that danced in the breeze. The map showed a circle of stones here, but all they saw were flowers and grass. Mako and Mina began to search, moving gently among the flowers. Mina's sharp eyes caught a glimpse of something round and gray. They cleared the area and discovered the hidden circle of stones, just like the map said. The sun was now high in the sky, and Mako and Mina were feeling hungry. They had brought some snacks, but they had fallen out of Mako's pockets during the climb. Mina noticed some ripe mangoes hanging from a tree. Using Mina's overalls as a makeshift net, they managed to shake a couple of mangoes loose. They sat down in the shade, enjoying their juicy treat and resting for a moment. Refreshed from their snack, the friends noticed that the map led to a cave next. The cave mouth yawned wide and dark, and Mako felt a shiver of fear. Mina squeezed his hand, and they promised to stick together. Inside, they used their hands to feel the walls and found strange carvings. They followed the carvings, which matched symbols on their map, guiding them through the darkness. As they emerged from the cave, the map showed one final clue, a treasure hidden beneath a lonely tree. They spotted the tree standing by itself on a small hill. The ground around the tree was hard and packed with dirt. Mina remembered the bamboo marker and suggested they use a sturdy bamboo stick. They dug carefully, and their efforts were rewarded with a small wooden chest. Mako and Mina opened the chest with trembling hands and found it filled with colorful glass marbles. They were not gold or jewels, but to Mako and Mina, they were a treasure worth more than any riches. They had solved the marvelous map mystery together. They hugged each other, proud of their creative problem solving and the new adventure they had experienced. It was a day they would remember forever. Hey there, thanks for listening to our story today. If you want to get a new story every day, make sure to subscribe. Or if you want to generate your own customized stories using the power of AI, download the Storigami app for iPhone and iPad today.